Now, winning the primary will also prime Gideon's fundraising pump. She says her campaign will be claiming more than $4 million raised in a crowdsourcing campaign by people who were angry over Collins' Supreme Court nom confirmation vote for Brett Kavanaugh and promised to whichever Democrat won the primary. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan has more on day one of the fall campaign. Sarah Gideon and Susan Collins both began the general election campaign seeing Maine people at work. Gideon on a lobster boat in Bremen with fisherman Shannon Harvey, hearing about some of the big issues and worries facing that industry. Right now it's the right whales and probably offshore wind. Gideon said those issues, along with others, need attention from government. So all of that leads to an industry that, you know, really is under a lot of stress, and we want to think about how and what we can do to make a difference there in Washington. Susan Collins was touring Moody's Collision Center in Gorham, and then stovemaker Yodel North America, praising that company for its innovation. And I'm very proud of the fact that Yodel is developing technology that will produce the cleanest burning wood stove ever, ever. And it's being developed right here in Gorham, Maine. Both candidates know they are starting a very tough race. Gideon and National Democratic groups have been on the attack for months in an election night interview slamming Collins for ignoring Maine people. To me, there is no question that right now we see Senator Collins fighting for somebody, but it is not for Mainers. Whether it is special interests, whether it is the interests of this president, I can't say. I think only the senator can say. I think we have a senator who's no longer really looking out for the interests of Mainers. But after her business tour, Senator Collins talked with reporters at length defending her record against those attacks. And it's reflected in my effectiveness in solving problems with common sense solutions for the people of Maine. I deserve to be reelected because there is no one who has worked harder for the people of Maine, all the people of Maine, and delivered more to them than I have. Collins said she has had tough campaigns before and basically said she is eager for the fight to begin, even challenging Gideon to 16 debates, one in every Maine county. I'll debate her tonight. If she's, I'm happy to begin the debates tonight. Let's, let's get them started. Those debates, when they do happen, as well as the overall campaign, are likely to focus largely on Senator Collins' record from her years in office, as well as issues involving Republicans in Congress and even President Trump. And all of it will be fueled by tens of millions of dollars in campaign donations on both sides. This will be a national campaign that will play out all summer and fall across Maine. Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.